So, first question is, what are three ways you can deny the ball one pass away? So, we have the play right there. Red, white, guard him. Everybody else is half court. All right? Guard him. Okay, any, any comments for 50 bucks? Whoever has the most uh, points at the end of the workout gets, gets 100 bucks. And three ways to deny it, one pass away. Get over there, get the customer. Get red over there. Again, I don't want to shoot anything. This is one pass away. This is two passes away. Yes, just feed the money. Get your, there you go. Great basketball player uses his whole body. So get your pointers out there, get your guns. There you go. Away. Now there's three ways he can deny. Can I? Yes. Get close to him. Get close to him. Very good. I call it uh, head to head. Right? Close to him. Head to head or attached. Very good. So that's called a closed. Closed denial. Very good. Give me two more. No, the girl, don't steal her answer. <laughs> Title nine, man. Title nine, brother. Face guard. Face guard, good. So you just, he's, he's LeBron and we're playing four on four. There you go. That's two. But you do know, stretch your mind. What if your players told you that? Hey, coach, I don't know. Yeah. That's a good job, bro. Two claps. You call this. Open and out. Now you beat me, you beat me. Open and out. It could be attached. Alright? It could be this. Right? But when the ball's in the air, boom! I, I can get that. Now, you know, now ball's in. Ball's in. And he goes back toward me. Okay, bro. You know, somebody, you gotta get me somehow, but you practice it. Open it now. Now, why? Because I'm taking away help, I'm still in the gaps, and I can steal it. This is old school, not wrong. This is new school because athletes are bigger, stronger, faster, even in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yes. Thank you for asking the question. <laughs> yes, last year I had all these girls here and they were scared. Good job. What's the best one? I don't know. I don't know you. Figure it out. Try it. If you might be this, if you might be this, that's the latest thing. What time is it? Yeah. Where you at? Yeah. At the end of the moment, every practice, you'll know your game better than the coach. But you're thinking about your girlfriend instead of denying it. <laughs> so you gotta be in the moment. That's a great question. I don't have the answer. And as a coach, why do you feel like you gotta have all the answers? You know? It's okay. I don't know everything. When I'm in, I, when I'm with Mike Dunlap, he's a great friend of mine. I, I saw him, I see him two or three times a year. He's at LMU now. When I'm with him, I feel stupid. You know what I mean? And, and, I, and at first, I'm like, gosh, I should know that. But you don't, can't know everything. But don't be afraid to tell your players. I wish I had an answer. My answer is you figure it out. You don't want to rest. Next one. What are hey, You got two out of three, but you didn't get the hundred, but great job. What are three ways to help now? Right there. What, what are three ways to help one pass away? You're me? Here's one way to help. Alright? Drive. On the drive. You full body help. Full body help on the drive. Alright? Second way to help. Early help. You gap it. So that means, you know what? That's the only, it's the only option. I'm giving that up. Balls in the air. Beats it. Alright, there. This is UVA. This is Tony Bennett. This is Dick Bennett. Gap it. This is Wisconsin. Gap it. And the last way to help. NBA concept, sixth graders can do this. Drive. Stunt. Where you kind of fake help me, but you know what? You got a shooter, you can't help all the time, and you, you freeze him to give his teammate, my teammate, a chance to come and help him to get in place and slow and, and be able to get there quicker and slow him down. So that's a stunt. So come here, stunt. Boom. All right? So again, well, coach, you got any drills for that? Well, you figure it out. Right. Only got two hours. I got a lot of drills. I don't, I don't know how many drills right now for that. That last one is like you're trying to distract the fight. Yes. You slow them down. It's called sword fighting. You start. It's defensive fake. What happens is this pass on the drive. On the drive. On the drive. Yeah. That happens a lot. It's, he slows down. If you practice it, you get good at it. Yeah, you're slowing them down. You 
You're saying, you know what, I, I can't help, he's a shooter. But this doesn't help me either. You know what, I can move it here, and I can take away the fat. So what, how we teach our players, not that we're great coaches. The high school team this year was 30 and 10. Our post-grad team was 26 and 9. And our JV post-grad team was 22 and 8. So, I mean, this worked for us. We always stunned if he was a shooter. If he was not a shooter, we early got it. We got beat, we're gonna get beat off contested jumpers, hopefully we rebound. And then we did a lot of this, but I think if he was kind of in between, we could shoot at him, and he could drive, well, we were playing like this. And then here, not get back. Any other questions? All right. Again, all this material you need to teach drills.